Hello, Bill Nye the Science Guy. I am a guy, um, a YouTuber named Wesley, and I I wanted to ask you if uh, since uh, Carl Sagan was your mentor, if I'm not mistaken, what is your fondest memory with your mentor, Carl Sagan? Take care and have a good day. So my fondest memory with Carl Sagan, uh, that's, uh, the, the fondest might be different from the most important. Uh, the fondest memory is we were in class in the spring of 1977, just a few months before the Voyager spacecraft were launched in August of that year. And this is the, these are the spacecraft that have the golden disc, the record, phonograph record mounted on the side of them with the presumption that an alien civilization will find this, decode the resonance of the hydrogen atom binary symbology and figure out how to play a phonograph record from Earth at the right speed. And so it's an extraordinary idea, but it was cool. It was inspirational. It brought out the best in a lot of us. And he, Carl Sagan said, what rock and roll song should we put on? And he said, uh, we are considering Roll Over Beethoven by Johnny B. Good. And there, Everybody's, no, Professor Sagan, no, not roll over. It's a fine song, but the song you want is Johnny Be Good. Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry. And so that is the song that's on the record, and that is a fond memory. I, I, I may have led the charge, but I was in, my older sister listened to that music. She was from that time, doo-wop, and uh, the beginnings of rock and roll. So I was very familiar with Chuck Berry, and I thought, that's great. And so he changed. Chuck Berry, Johnny B. Good is the one that's flying out into space on two spacecraft. Then uh, the most important memory I had with Carl Sagan, there's no question, was 10 years later, I went to my college reunion in 1987, and I arranged with Carl Sagan's assistant to spend about five minutes with him, maybe it was 10 minutes, which was a big deal. He was a superstar by then. He had done Cosmos, he was being asked to speak all the time, he'd written these great books, poets are, are uh, uh, award-winning books, um, and I asked him, okay, I'm doing, I want to do this sh kid's show about science, uh, what should I do? I've been doing demonstrations about bridges, and he says, no, 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 don't, don't do engineering, do science, and they, then he said, kids resonate to pure science. That was the verb he used, resonate. And that really stuck with me. So if you ever watched the old Bill Nye the Science Guy shows, we did our best to use, to show you, excuse me, to show you pure science rather than technology. And the show we did about computers, which is nominally a show about technology, I did my best to focus on the big ideas, switches and binary and uh, commands that take place without a human having to sit there and tap the button. So uh, I, I claim we, that, that meeting with Carl Sagan in the, the end of May, be, the end of May 1987 changed my life. So the fondest memory was Johnny B. Good. The most important one was resonate to science.